using the buyer request options to apply for jobs. So you would click on more and then you click on buy request. Remember you find this in the switch to selling section. Now here you will see the number of requests that are active. You will see how many offers you have sent. You will see the date of the request, the icon of the buyer, what they're asking you to do, the offers meaning how many persons have applied so far to existing requests, how long the person is giving you to do the task and the budget at hand. Sometimes you may not see a budget and in that case you may see it just have a dash beside the area. Now how do you go about applying for jobs? First of all know that you have 10 offers per day. It depends on when they start over the, the they start over each day. So here once you send out an offer it will reduce to 9, 8, 7 and so on. Now you will look at the request that you want to apply to. So let's say I want to apply to this one. This one is asking for an animation artist to animate YouTube series. And you click more to see more if there's more. Now if I want to apply to this request, when I put my mouse on the request itself, it brings up a send offer button. Now I must make note of how long the person wants the task to be completed or when they want it to be completed by and also their budget. So when I click the send offer button, I will choose the gig that is relating to the service that they're offering. So let's look for another service here and let's see. Now you're seeing these, these services based on the subcategories of your existing gigs. So if I wanted to search for all the jobs for transcription, I could click transcription and see only the jobs that are for transcription. Now, if I'm interested in a job, as I said earlier, if I hover over the request itself, I will see the send offer button. Now for this particular request, 30 people have applied so far. They said three days was needed to complete the task and the budget they have is $50. So when I click send offer, I'm gonna choose my transcription gig relating to the service that they're asking for. Now I can also still see the request here if I need to look back on it because in your offer, you're going to basically look at this as a job application. Why are you the best person for the job? Remember, they have many other people applying. What makes you the best candidate? So you can list the years of experience if you have any. You can list qualities that you may bring to the table and make sure that you're also writing what you will do concerning the task. Any special offerings that you will do or anything special that you will do to make the task be completed efficiently. If you have any links that you can share with any samples, depending on what you're applying for, you can include those links in your application. So suppose it was a graphics gig that you're trying to apply for, you can include links from a Google Drive where you have your uploaded images or anything regarding a portfolio that you have uploaded to a Google Drive, you can share the link with the buyer so that they can see what you're capable of. In the total offer amount, if the person has put a budget, do not go over the budget, either match the budget, meaning in this case, if it's $50, put $50 or go below the budget, but never go over the person's budget. If you're not sure what delivery time to put, Based on the task that they're asking you, you can also mention that in the description as well, saying that yes, you have put a delivery time and yes, you have put a budget, but if, you, if they could share more information with you, that may be subject to change. So you may consider putting that in your description as well. But of course, the total offer amount is the amount that you are saying that you're going to do the task for. Delivery time is how long you're saying you're going to take to do the task and then submit offer and it will be sent off to the person. So that's a quick overview of how you go about doing a buyer requests.